Okay, so this is uh, really easy steps to create an isometric circle in Illustrator. First, you'll need your isometric grid um, that you'll open up. Um, make sure that that's locked into the background so it doesn't interfere with the drawings that you're going to do on top. And then you are going to draw up your isometric cubes. So what I usually get students to do before they start is go up to Window and down to Workspace and make sure that they're on Essential classic. Um, that will then make sure that you have um, a full tool palette that is open rather than just a few tools. That's just something to get in the habit of. I've got my stroke on 0.15 millimetres um, and if you don't have millimetres and you have pixels then I would go to edit down to preferences and you can go to general and then you'll have, uh, let me see, units. So I have millimetres set for general stroke and um, points for type and go OK. So then we were all working on the same palette. So my stroke is 0.15 millimetres. That's what I'm going to work with to create my lines. So what I'm doing first is I'm creating a cube um, just by following the uh, isometric template underneath. So I'm just going to, with the pen tool, click uh, on the intersection point here. I'm going to make um, a cube now in isometric. So I'm just going to follow the line and click on the next point. Hold down the shift key so that you get a perfectly straight line and click on the next point and then click on the following point and then hold down the shift key again and click on this final point down here. So now you've got a closed cube. So I can repeat that step uh, by clicking on another point. So now I'm doing the top of the cube. I can't hold down the shift key here because the um, illustrator, it picks up straight lines and 45 degree angles, but not the 30 degree angles that we're working on in uh, isometric. So I put my point here, then I can hold down the shift key again because I've got a vertical. Then I go over to this point and click and down to, when you see the circle there, you know that it's closing as a shape. So I will click there. Okay, so now that I've got my cube, um, what I want to do is I want to make it into isometric circles. So you could um, just select one at a time and then you'll go up to effect, down to stylize and round corners. Um, I know on this grid that it works at 11 millimetres, so I click the radius 11 and OK and see now I have my perfect uh, isometric circle going in the right direction. So the same for the top, select effects, sorry, stylize and down to round corners, 11 millimetres and the same on the right hand side. Effect, stylize, round corners, 11 and OK. So now I have my uh, isometric circles. So you can apply this um, when you're doing the task.